Skarp Rasmussen, the number seven seeds here this week. They're going up against Tupac Jonko and Kitty Nupong Kedron from Thailand, next on court number two. Well, here's the very top section of the draw. The number one seeds, Alfian and Ardi Anto, came through in straight games on court four a few moments ago over Lungard and Vestergaard after beating Scottish yesterday. So that's setting up the quarter final for whoever wins our next match here. And here comes the Danes, Kim Astrup leading the way. Rasmussen behind their opponents. Very close, Lee following them as well. It's going to be tough for these two today. Danish pair really have found some form lately. And also, we'll see in a few moments the head to head. Astrup and Rasmussen will be feeling very confident Hi. going into this one. Hi. Straight games the win their previous meeting. Kim, black or red? red please. Indonesian black masters, that you, was. Yes. Red it is. Kim to serve. Sir. Receive. Which side? Good. So the Danes win the toss. Kim Astrup elects to serve first. And it appeared. Jonko and Kedron will start the match from the far side, the top of your screen. Well, that was Rasmussen. Let's try and find Kim Astrup, the left-hander. There he is. Back up close to their best, and it's no surprise, really, the form they've been in lately. Silver at the World Championships. That was a terrific week at home in Copenhagen for them. Took the Arctic Open title a couple of weeks ago in Finland to add to their Hong Kong Open and Canada Open title in recent months as well. They've got six titles now on the World Tour and three of those have been since this summer. So they're back to their best. The big hitting Anna's Rasmussen. And uh, Akira Koga, Taichi Saito, no match for them yesterday. 16 and 14. Reasonably comfortable work for the Danish pair. Supak Jomko from Nakhon Ratchasima, that's in the northeast of Thailand. Ranked 33. It's been up at 21 with this current partner, but actually, Supak Jomko has five international challenge or series titles, all with different partners in men's doubles and mixed doubles, and none with this man, Kedron. So they are the top-ranked pair from Thailand. But saying that, they're down at 33 in the world. However, that is a pretty impressive result against Tan Chiang and Zhao Haodong yesterday. That's Amparo Mecca from Spain, our chair umpire for this one. And Don Codera from England, today's service judge. Ready to play. Few final preparations being made. <laughs> Danish coaching staff in deep conversation. 
possibly about the dinner they had last night. I saw them in the burger house over the street. But more likely about the tactics for this game. Well, Kedron there on the left. Southeast Asian Games gold medal and World Junior Championship gold with um, and Deshapal Puavaran Ukro, right. now Super Thailand's top mixed doubles player. A couple of international Thailand. challenge titles with him as well. So, and on my left, when Deshapal was playing Tima men's doubles, and Anna those two were Rasmussen, a force Denmark. to be reckoned with. Key master to serve to Supak Yampo. Love all. Play. And our good friend Amparo getting this match underway. One love. Service over. One all. That was tidy work from Jomko, the taller of the two. Crucial in men's doubles, taking that shuttle early. And he forced Rasmussen out of position. Service over. 2 all. <laughs> Service over. 3-2. Service over. Three all. Well, just like we saw in the previous match in the singles, struggling to control the back line from that position. I don't think it'll be a tactic. The Thai pair will enforce a great deal more. They'll have to look for that attack from the far side. Service over. Pretty nervous Four, start three. for both pairs so far. Serve. Good variation in the flick. Five, three. Ambitious from Kim Astrup. Misses, but the shot completely foxed. Kedron, I think it is on serve. Fault. Good attack. Six. Three. Causing some problems for the Danes, early stages. <laughs> Service fault called, too high. Service over, four, Dominic Cadera. Six. Springs to life from the service. Judge Jair Kedron with the uh, illegal serve. Well, that wasn't Five, good enough from Kim Astrup. Six. He gets lucky here. His own shot quality. And this one letting him completely down. Fortunately, it's out the back. Service over. And it's Rasmussen's turn. Seven, the serve five. simply not good enough. Service over. 
six, eight. Scrappy so far. No way to describe this one. Need the pair in full flow. This is better. Good defense. That was great. Service over. Nine, six. Service over. Seven, nine. Fault. Big cross winner again. John Coe's dictating over. here from the back line. Ten, they are on seven. that faster end of the course, and so the attack will come down with a little bit more power. Yeah, sets up the second smash. Service over. Eight. Ten. Oh, brilliant net from Kim Astrup. Nine, ten. The quality from Jonko was good. Shuttle spinning all over the place. In return, Astrup, brilliant. Service over. Eleven, nine, interval. Well, it's uh, Jomko and Kedron that edge things. I think both pairs still just trying to understand the conditions from this end. A little bit more pace on the attack from Jomko and Kedron. And that's all the difference so far. That return of serve, for example, not easy. 11-9. Long way to go. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Eleven, nine. Play. Kim. Kim. No. Twelve nine. Fault, service over, 10, 12. Service over, 13, Ten. Fourteen. Little bit of luck ten. there from the net cord. They'll take every one of those for sure. Well, 
Well, there's a challenge Anna's here from Anna Rasmussen. Challenges called in. Not quite settled into this one. This uh, point to change the score at this stage of the game will be quite crucial. First game slightly running away with them, struggling to keep up in defence. And the call was good. Challenge unsuccessful. The line judge spot One on. Challenge remaining. 15, 10. So they've got one Play. challenge remaining, Astrup and Rasmussen, but more crucially, they're now five points behind as we get into the business end of game one. 16, 10. Out, service over. 11-16. Yeah, it was the uh, pressure from Kim Astrup. Kedron was there to play the net shot, but with Astrup advancing as quickly as he did, Kedron in two minds had to play Super. it perfectly. Ready. Didn't quite manage to do with a run of points here. Oh, too good from Jomko. Service over. Simply 17, preventing 12. them from getting on top of the rally. Excellent work at the net. Supak Jomko. Kedron this time. Service over. 13 17. A little bit wild. Service over, 18-13. Well, he's got some power, Jomko. Does not need a second invitation. Terrific pronation technique, that forehand. Fox, service over, 14-18. Rasmussen showing he can do the same thing. Go back. Go back. Hey. Big point. An absolute must for the Danes if they want to stay in game one. Oh, clever going over the top of Rasmussen, but he's gone wide. How unlucky. 15-18. Frustrated, Kim Astrup. Service over. With that faster end of the court. 19, cut out by 15. Kedron. It's just too quick, the attack coming down at them at the moment. And again, going over the top. It's clever from Jomko. But Kedron's missed. Service they over. did everything right. 16, Danish 19. hopes still alive in game one. Clinging on by the skin of their teeth here. Well, 
Do you feel like Astrup and Rasmussen don't really deserve this opener? A couple of strange mishits from the Thai pair. Service over. Allowing them into this first 20, game. Game point, 17. But with three game points in the bag, it looks like Astrup and Rasmussen are going to have to do this one the hard way. Oh. Service over. What about this return of serve? 18, 20. Well, they can't get over the finish line. What a comeback 19, this is. 20. Just one more. Game point down. To keep them in this opening exchange. Well, that's a bad shot from Kedrin. He's well below the net. From that position, he's got two options. Try and play net with quality or lift. And he tried the net with zero quality. Kim Astrup quick to pounce. A lifeline for the world champ silver medalists. Service over. 21-20. Holding off this comeback, Jomko and Kedron, one more chance. Brilliant from Kim Astrup. Service over. That's what has proved the difference for me oh. in these recent months. Rasmussen, solid as always. But the confidence that Kim Astrup showing lately, pushing the net at the right time. A brilliant serve. And again, 22-21. Dana's showing confidence, taking a risk. It's paying off. And even they won't feel like they've deserved this opener, but they've got game point now. Bye. Having to defend over the top, Rasmussen. Oh, they get away with it. Clash of rackets, the miss hit, but it's gone over. Well, they saved the best rally of the Service match. Over. Till game point. 22 all. It's that man again, John Coe with the power. Back on an even keel. Too slow from Kim Astrup. 23-22. Too much time on the shuttle. Easy for Jomko, I think it was, to pounce. It's game point again. Oh, what a poor leave. Game. Anna's Rasmussen commits badminton suicide on the First back line. Game by Supak Yamko and you Kitty don't Nukon do that Pitlin. at game point. 24 22. Spray. That was terrible. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't really get to regret that one later. But it took five game points for Jomko and Kedron to seal this opening game. 18 minutes. Change of ends might be crucial here. 
Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Players on court. Ready? And Paro Mecca, the umpire, calling for this one to get back underway. Loads of talk. Second game. In the Danish camp. Love all. With the coaches. Play. Attack is the all-out plan here, surely, in this second game for the Danes. Brilliant. One From Kedra. Love. Service fault called, too high. Service over, one all. Well, that's the second time. Kedron it was, I think, on serve. Oh, there was a sense Service of over. inevitability. How long Two, did this man spend one. in the air then, that final shot? He seemed to be off the floor for an age. Slam dunk from Kedron. Sometimes Three, it's on, sometimes one. it's just not quite there. Kim Astra sets up his own rally and misses the kill. Better. Service over. Two, four. A slightly more conservative attack, keeping the pressure on. Kim, the shuttle, it's okay, play. Speed of movement, rather than trying to finish the rally too early. Supak, get ready. Wow, what, what a confident Three, leave. Four. Solid finish, Astrup working Four hard. Oh. Sets up his partner. And these two starting to understand the challenge here in this second game. Since that change of ends, playing into that slight drift, the Danish attack now a little bit more fierce. Astrup staying patient again. Oh, 
Well, that's clever from Service Kedron. Service over. Five, four. And Jomko. I thought Jomko had given this one a bit too much. And he was going to be out of position. But he gets a loose reply from Rasmussen. Kedron all over for the kill shot. Brilliant. What a clever shot. Six, Seeing the big space four. open up in front. Astra upon the back foot. Okay? I didn't see the match yesterday, but I'm starting to understand why Jean Coe and Kedron on paper looked pretty Place comfortable against Tan Chiang and Zhao Hao Dong, quality opponents from China. Service over. Five, six. I like that from Astrup. Calm, collected. Service over. Seven, five. Service over. Six, seven. So much in men's doubles in particular. Won and lost in the first three shots. Rasmussen going across the body. Yeah, Danish coach, seven, you can hear them from here. Four. That's the way to play. I don't understand what he said, but you could just tell that whatever they did there, strategy-wise, is the way to beat these two. Surely, Kedron touched the shuttle then. Nothing from the umpire. John Coe again. Sorry, Too strong over. with that forehand. Eight, seven. Kitinupong to serve. Russia. They need to try and get Supak Jonko somehow to the net. Service over. It's Eight, a big task for Kim Astrup in particular because he's the front man for the Danes. Kedron setting up his big hitting partner. <laughs> I wasn't sure if the uh, Thai coach was looking down at something or half asleep then. Nine all. Very cool character around the tour. Keeping your cool here in this one of utmost importance. Into the drift. Service over. Ten. Nine. Got to be careful there, going flat into those rear corners with the drift behind Quick. you. Okay.
Good defence, surviving that onslaught at the net from Astrup. Oh! oh Service over. Ten. That looked oh. like a 360, some kind of pirouette. I'm not even sure who hit this. <laughs> well, Jomko goes for the big backhand smash with pirouette. Kedron really had little chance to try and control that shuttle. 11 10 interval. Honours even really in the second. For me, Kedron and Jomko looking like they have the better game plan at the moment. These two, the way they've been playing lately, will feel they're under some pressure here. And mentally will need to show they can stand up to this kind of challenge. 11-10. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Players on court. Anna Sorkin, the towel, please. This black towel, gray towel. Thank you. Eleven ten. Play. Superb defense. Oh, Astrup not sure. Decides to take no chances. He's got a yes. I thought John Go clipped the racket. The frame of the racket. 12, 10. They can afford to step up the court here, the Danes, I think, in defence. Drift against the tie players. Terrific serve, ace winner 13, from Astrup. 10. And I think they can afford to just to step up slightly in defence and take that shuttle a fraction earlier. Try and get on top of the rally, try and take that initiative. That's brilliant from Astrup. 14 10. Oh no, sold his partner up the river. Over. 11 14. Rasmussen went cross drive and then pushed the net. Not. Not the best idea. Needs to at least cover half a court if he's going to play a drive shot. Can't just sit at the net. Twelve fourteen. Over. 15 12. You can hear the communication. Astrup this time dictating things, 16, shouting at orders 12. at his partner. When to go, when to push net. Clever. Again, a calmness in defense. This is where they want them. Kedron at the back. Very little power coming down into the drift as well from the short. Service over. Statured Kedron. 13, 16. 
finds a way through. Quick. And their character here, Rasmussen and Astrup, really being tested today. Service over, 17-13. Fault, <laughs> service over. Well, he set that 14, up so early, 17. Rasmussen. And he got the shot he wanted. Look at him here waiting. I think it might have clipped the net. Oh. Maybe. Tough to tell. Service over. 18, 14. Well, they're confidence players, these two. When they're in that zone, it's hard for opponents. They can just get through this second game. I think they'll Service feel over. comfortable, 15, confident 18. again for a third. But it's not over. Jomko and Kedron's best shot, I think, in this match is to try and close this one out in straight games. Find a way back right here and now. I like that. Staying patient. Oh, Kim Astra, brilliant. It's called in. Well, this is huge. Nineteen fifteen. I can't recall if they've run out of challenges. But Jomko decides that he had a good enough view of this one not to worry Hawkeye. Yeah, well in. Go! Go! 20, game point, 15. And it seems like they've held their nerve, they've kept their composure. Five game points to force a decider. Service over. 16 20. That is clever attacking. 17, 20. They're still dangerous. Especially in that formation. He's got some weapons. Jomko, he can set up his partner. Ashraf on the back foot. It was only 18, going to end 20. one way. Three game points saved. Still for me, this match, if the ties come through it, it's going to be here and now in game two. Not been the best performance today from Astrup and Rasmussen. Moments of brilliance, but the consistency hasn't been there. But I suspect they'll do okay in a third. And they've got through this second game. A nervy second match game for them so far. But they force a decider. One game all. Our umpire confirming the score. One game all. Oh, 
Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. <laughs> Final game, level. Play. So the Danes scrape through a second, forcing a decider here. Some differences in conditions, but we'll change One ends halfway left. through so they'll get an even chance. Well played again. Two love. Again, if they're in that formation with Kedron at the net, Danes have to take him out somehow. Can't give him the shot back to where he's standing. Ah! Fault. Ah! Service over. Ah! One, two. Tricky opponents, these two. For Astrup and Rasmussen, you can tell. This result absolutely not a foregone conclusion. Three, two. Service over. Three, all. Service over. Four, three. Surprises me how Jean Co and Kedron have not really done worldwide damage in terms of 
performances and results hovering around between 20 and 35 in the world but they're able to pull out performances like this today that was Service fantastic over. from John Coat. for all beating that strong Chinese pair yesterday for example you can tell it's no fluke Very rarely getting past round one, in fact, John Coe and Kedron. Tons of tournaments played in 12 months. Six, four. A semi final at the Thailand Masters. Probably their best performance. And so uh, a win today, a quarter-final result at Service minimum over. would be a Five, real boost six. for the pair from Thailand. Line judge. Line judge. Can you show her, please? Can you show her? Keep Anas. Thank you. Wait. Five, six. Service over. Seven, five. Oh. Service over. Six, seven. Kitty Nupong, Kitty Nupong, don't throw sweat. Yeah. Well, that's clever from Astrup going over the top. Need to keep their wits about them. Seven all. Thank you. Players on court. Seven all. Good defence from Ashrup Rasmussen. Oh, well left. And again, no challenge. Great judgment Eight, from Anas Rasmussen. A real cat and mouse fight out here at the moment. Super.
to be finished there from John Coe. And he's up for this. All. Good quality from Kedron. Keeping, it looks simple, but it's not easy to keep that shuttle going up from the other side, holding the attack. The perfect return of serve from Kim Astrup. Oh, look at that. What great defense. Jomko really applying the pressure. That is magic. Has he found the line? Anna Skorop Rasmussen challenges. Well, I wondered whether there'd in. be a challenge here. If this was in, this is one of the best defensive cross blocks I've seen for ages. Supak Jomko. Almost a reverse. Yes, he's found the line. What about this shot from challenge Jomko? Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Spring. Well, there's one Dr. challenge Stamil. remaining from Astrup and Rasmussen. And here, look at this, here we go. Supak Jomko at the end of this rally. Finds something really special. Into the open space and the line. Well, that to me does not look like a face of somebody in their comfort zone, whilst uh, I think it's Jomko is getting some ice spray treatment on that uh, right ankle. That really would be an unfortunate way to end what has been a terrific performance, at least to this point. He's got the shoes going back on. Good news for these two. Super, go. 9-8, play. 53rd minutes of action in this round of 16 match. Astrup finds a great over. angle. Nine all. Ah! Service over. Technically so gifted, this Ten, man. Nine. So much power in that wrist. What about this shot? Change at the last second and play with pace. Service over. Ten all. Well, they could do with a few more. Showing that quality in the forecourt again. Asher at that time off the turn of serve. Well played. 11-10, interval, change ends. Being ahead, even by one point, at the change of ends, particularly, well, in any game, really, but the change of ends in three. 
will provide it. Important boost of confidence. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Place on court. Eleven, ten. Play. Service over, 11 all. <laughs> Service over, 12 11. So a change of ends for the final time. And this Danish pair have shown it so many times recently that they can cope with these big occasions. Oops. Service over. But once that man Twelve starts all. pumping the fist, have to start doubting whether they can come through in the style they've been used to. Tidy from Astrup holding the attack. Oh, what a save initially. Not enough. And his partner was on the floor. Service over. 13 all. Yeah, Kedron really outstretched. John Co unable from there to help. Leave the shot along court. Leave the show. Thirteen all. It's going to start to get tense. Thirteen all. Well in. I can't believe Astrup. Well, Rasmussen rather is wasting a in. challenge here. With that shuttle. Challenge unsuccessful. Coming directly down the line, no he was stood right over it. Remaining. Really no excuse. Service over. 14, 13. And we saw him leap on at the end of, uh, I think it was game one. And that landed well in. If you're playing with hope rather than playing with effort. 15, 13. You can't really object to the result. You've got to be quick on their feet here, the Danes.
finds a cross block to get back out of trouble. John Cope. Oh, oh again. Solo. Got away 14, with that for me. 15. Rasmussen put the shot straight back to where Kedron was stood. This one. Kitten upon Kedron should have done better Come there. Come here. Kitten upon. Come here. Umpire. You must speed up. Play must be continuous. Yes, this is the last time. Yeah? Umpire giving a warning to John Cohen Kedron to keep. 14 15. Keep the speed of the game going. <laughs> Fierce battle in the midcourt. And a smash. So, over. so well placed. 16 14. The left handed Astrup could do very little with this smash. <laughs> Full power attack from John Coat. Look at that. 432. Kilometers per hour. Service over. 15, 16. They're playing with fire here. Astrup should have finished that. 17. Did not 15. expect the quality to come back from Tupac Jomko. <laughs> who just casually turns the shuttle into that open space in defense. <laughs> you can see the body language. Angry. Kim Astrup. Thank you. Thank you. Play us on court. Sixty-one minutes now. To receive. Seventeen fifteen. Two points the advantage. But you'd have to say it's for the underdogs. Service over. Sixteen seventeen. Danes back into the deciding game. Comfortable and still a mistake. Tied up one more time, 17 all. That's a terrific backhand from Anas Rasmussen. 18-17. If there's a time to find your quality, it's late in the third. No. Umpire again, warning Kedron. 17. Not to be throwing the sweat onto the court. Oh, it's short. There's a challenge. Anna, uh, no challenges remaining. I said out. You have no challenges remaining. I didn't think they'd have a challenge left. Yes, I'm sure. Yes. Well, controversial. I thought he wasted Service a challenge over. earlier. It was a ridiculous challenge. 18. He was stood right by oh. the shuttle. A poor leave earlier. And I think the challenge was more to save his own face. And now, when he really needed one, they don't have any challenges remaining. And from what could have been 1916, 1917 rather, John Cohen Kedron back at 18 all. How important might that prove to be? 
He's rattled, Rasmussen. 19, 18. Emotions on show. He's done it again. Over. Oh. Kitty Nupon Ketlin challenges. Colt out. Well, I was about to say, I thought this shot caught the line. It's not for me to say I'm far too far away here. But I thought Rasmussen had made another error in judgment here. And this is Titanic. It's just wide. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. <laughs> Service over, 19 all. What play. on earth is going on in this match? It's 19 all. Fault. And the drama builds. 20 match points, Kim 19. For me, is holding this match together. Rasmussen gets a chance and finishes. Well, I think they just wanted to play with the fans, the crowd. An up and down performance could have very easily gone either way. Astrup and Rasmussen find a way through by sheer luck at times. Some brilliance from Jomko. Kedron played his part too. These two. Oh, full of drama, that performance. Thank you. Thank you. Match won by Kim Astrup and Anna Skorok Rasmussen. 22-24, 21-18, 21-19. The handshake between Anna Rasmussen and the umpire and Para Mecca at the end. You could just sense a little bit of tension there. Full of drama. They got the result. That's all that matters. It took 66 minutes. Astrup and Rasmussen. Clinching defeat from the jaws. Uh, clinching victory, rather, from the jaws of defeat. They'll need to be better later in the week to go all the way. It took three games. 22-24, 21-18. 21-19, the decider in 66 minutes. We've got a couple of singles coming up in a few moments. Firstly, women's singles with Han Yue from China, the number eight seed. She's up against Kim Gayun. That's after a few highlights, so stay with us here on Court 2.
Well, thank you for staying with us here live on court to the round of 16 here at the 2023 French Open. We're heading swiftly on to the women's singles with the number eight seed Han Yue taking on Korea's Kim Gae-yeon coming up next.